How to use Tax Slayer for beginners. Hi guys, in this video, we'll be talking about what Tax Slayer is and let's try to understand how it works. So basically, Tax Slayer offers four plans for filing taxes online with varying levels of customer support. And plans range from $0 to $54.99 for a federal return plus $39.95 for a state return. And Tax Slayer is our uh, yeah, it's it, it's a it's a top value pick for self-employed filers and a good option for others with straightforward taxes. Well, of course, you start by creating your account. So let's go ahead and input the details that it needs from us. So let's go ahead and input our email address right here. So while I'm inputting, I'll go ahead and talk about how filing your taxes can be a bit like your first trip to the gym. So you don't want to spend the money, you, you aren't sure how everything works and you keep putting it off. But if you use the right equipment, the process isn't as terrible as you expected. Uh, TaxLayer is a tax preparation company for people filing their taxes online from home. But does it include the right equipment for your tax needs? Well, I'm not sure about that. Um, some websites gave it an editor rating of 4.1 out of 5 and their review summary includes that it's cheaper than competing tax prep services and it's best for people who either have a simple tax situation or are comfortable with the tax filing process. While well, some people are really comfortable when it comes to filing their taxes online and you really have to, uh, mind you guys, you really have to input all your details when you want to access this platform and prior to this video i already tried inputting my details dummy details but it's it's really a lot of work and sometimes you get a you have a doubt of like shall i put this shall i not and sometimes it, it takes you aback and you, you think twice about putting in your details because those details are um more often than not important right so who uses tax layer? A lot of people uses tax layer, but uh, the biggest draw is the price. So if you know what you're doing, don't need much assistance and have all your information ready to go. Tax layer is a strong low cost option for filing taxes. So if you have all of your information on hand, this platform is going to be really helpful for you. But anyone who doesn't have either a straightforward or simple tax situation like someone who earns only W-2 income or experience filing more complicated taxes, well, you might run into trouble with tax layer. Like, for example, let me show you what troubles you're going to run into like for this one. It asks you personal information right away. So even before you try to explore what the platform offers or the features of the platform, you immediately need to input your information first. And I think that that's not really comfortable because before I want to input my information, I'd like to know what kind of platform is this and what are the things that you offer. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I have troubles with this one. So you really have to, there's no other way around it. You really have to input your information because if you miss even one field, it won't let you go and access their sidebar, which is really annoying for me because I'd like to go and check the features right away and like, what can it do for me? And after that, then I'll decide if I'm going to input my information. So they should have like put in here, like skip for now, skip for now. But apparently they don't let you do that. And I've read some reviews actually, and they say that tax layer customer support is somewhat limited. Yes, you can access customer service through email or phone with the simply free and classic plans, but to receive live chat support, priority support, or ask a pro support, you'll have to upgrade to the premium or self-employed plans, which uh, for me, they cost uh, rather expensive. And... Uh, these are some of the qualifications that you should consider when you want to try tax layer. You qualify for $0 federal and state returns. You might want to try it. 
you want a free plan that covers education credits and student loan interest deduction. You might want to try it as well if you're qualified. If you have a straightforward tax situation, you might want to try this. If you have a complicated tax situation but are confident in your attention to detail. So if you have a complicated tax situation but you know that you can do it, go ahead and try it. And are you willing to trade a seamless user experience for a lower price tag? And are a self-employed filer looking for a budget op option? Well, this one is for you. And uh, while I'm filing in, I'll also tell you the things that um, you might not like when filing with TaxLayer. If you value an intuitive interface over affordability, the TaxLayer is not for you. If you have little or no experience filing taxes, Tax layer is not for you as well. If you want to save time with tax document, import or upload, mm, not really. Tax layer is not for you because it asks you to upload and put in a lot of information like this one. You can check any of this, but let's go ahead and just go ahead and skip it. Now, the big question is, how much does tax layer cause? Well... How much you pay will depend on your employment situation, life circumstances, and customer support preferences. So for this one, you will have to input your IRS identity protection pin. Or if you don't have, you can just click no. All right. So let's go ahead and go back to the video or to the, yeah, to the video. <laughs> All right, once you're done setting up, this is how their dashboard looks like. So you can see here your basic information summary, which contains your basic information. And then after that, let's go ahead. Let's do this. Slay it. All right. I don't know why it's called slay it, by the way. Okay, know which forms you need. So as you can see, as, as I mentioned a while ago, if you're someone new to paying taxes and if you're not really familiar or not really sure about the details that you have, you might consider paying taxes in person rather than using this platform because the fee that you're going to pay is not going to be worth it because there's a lot of workarounds around it. And basically, these are the tabs that you can see in their side sidebar, like federal income deductions, other taxes, payments, and yeah, payments and estimates, miscellaneous forms, COVID-19 relief. There's also a feature under there, there. Sorry, sidebar like that. Well, how does this work? TaxLayer is a subsidiary of Rhodes, Murphy & Co., which is one of the oldest payments, one of the oldest players in computerized tax preparation services. And uh, ooh, signing up for tax layer is easy. Well, for me, it's not. But after you set up an account with your email address and personal information, you'll be asked a series of questions about your finances for the tax year in question. And you'll need things like W2S, 1099s, 1098Ts, and other receipt of income or expenses that may be deductible. Tax layer has a document upload feature, but it supports a limited number of forms and it doesn't always work. So like for this one, e-filing is not yet available, right? You still have to wait until Tuesday. So are there downsides to using using tax layers? Yes, definitely there are. And the interface is clunky, as you can see, you guys. Well, you can jump around and edit information. You'll have to click through a few screens to find the appropriate income credit or deduction information. So that's what I personally think. What about you guys? What do you think about tax layer? Is it worth it to use the platform or is it not? Let me know down in the comments below. See you guys in the next video.